Hey there, it's the English Picker here. Uh, I just want to do this video showing some of the crazy computer games, video games related stuff that I've bought over the last few weeks. I've got absolutely loads to show you, uh, so it's going to be a long video. Uh, it will just be sort of computer games, video games, so if that's not your cup of tea, uh, just to let you know. Um, a lot of this stuff is sort of it's from car boot sales, uh, trades with people. Uh, charity shops, you know the usual sort of things. A couple of other YouTubers, I've got other bits and pieces off. I can't show all of it here. I got way more than this. That's either been sent to Amazon or I've, it's on eBay, or I just can't find it. Or so there's loads. So if I've missed out on your trade, apologies. I'll get round to giving you a shout out at some point. So uh, yeah, I'll get right into it. Um, talking about trades, uh, I've got one thing which I have been after for flipping ages um, and that was off a fellow youtuber uh, Steve Hicksy uh, cheers mate for this um, I picked this I won't say how much because uh, I don't he, he never actually said if, if he wanted to dis discuss that but it was below eBay prices um, and it is a uh, Nintendo GameCube Wavebird these are getting increasingly difficult to get it's also got its little receiver thing um, and these are excellent really for, for playing the GameCube because you know you can sit the other side you don't have to worry about the cables because the GameCube cable controller cables do are a little bit short so uh, and I'm assuming you can use it on the Wii as well because it's got the uh, the plug there I've yet to test it on the Wii but I tried it with the GameCube Works great, it's in lovely condition, a little bit of discoloration on the edge, but I mean really, it's fantastic, the, the sticks are all good, they're, they're not too worn, so yeah, that was. I've been after one of these for blimmin' ages and I just don't see them in the wild, and I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to buy one off eBay, so it was just fortunate that Steve picked one up and um, he mentioned it and asked if he'd be interested in selling it, and uh, he said he would, so that was really kind of him, so cheers mate. Um. From a car boot sale, I picked up this, uh, which is a Xbox 360 green afterglow controller. So when you plug this in and switch it on, it, it glows up quite a vivid green. It's one of the wired jobs. I paid 2.99 for it. Uh, it's you've got to be careful to look out for this breakaway part. These are always missing. Uh, it seems um, so. I've actually passed them up at charity shops before because they are missing these. Um, so yeah, great price. Uh, I'll probably be keeping that one actually because it's pretty cool. Uh, but if not, uh, the resale's about ten to fifteen, I think, something like that. <clears throat> yeah. So next, uh, this is quite nice. Uh, I picked this up at the car boot sale at the weekend. It is a super super clean. Um, so it's focused on a really clean uh, Mega Drive 2, beautiful condition, really nice. Uh, it came with all the cables and it came with a um, a controller that is a good, equally as good condition, no issues, works great. Um, so yeah, for five quid, I wasn't going to leave it there. I mean, the Mega Drive isn't mega money, uh, excuse the pun, but yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I've got some other another Mega Drive down here, which I'll show you in a bit as well. So there's that one. This next one I took a chance on for two quid, um, and it doesn't work. <laughs> I'm not surprised though. Um, it's the original Mega Drive, and some idiot has decided to to paint it, and then they've even taken out the flaps and painted them and then for whatever reason the port there they've they've painted the the little thing so plugged it in and it doesn't register the power on the thing so came with no cables but two quid it, it was just a gamble really so hey ho uh, but yeah doesn't work so don't know what I'll do with that I'll just sort of chuck it to one side for now um, <clears throat> for £1.50 I picked up uh, the original Xbox Duke controller uh, 
I have yet to test it, but it's got the 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 I can't remember what it's called, but where the the bit break the breakaway cable or whatever. Um, also with these, you've got to watch out here that it doesn't fray. But that's all right. So it looks in great condition. This was from a house clearance guy at a car boot sale. So yeah, fantastic, really, really, really nice deal. For he wanted two quid and he, he took one pound fifty. Also from the same guy for a quid, uh, I took a bit of a risk on this, uh, but it just looked cool. It's um, it's called a uh, Genius controller there, and I think from the port, I think it's PC. So, oh, is it focusing? Yeah, you get the idea anyway. I think it's for PC. So. Uh, yeah, if anybody knows, it's like the six button, sort of almost like a Mega Drive style, um, but just look cool. So uh, probably not a huge amount of resale in it, but I bundled it together with the other one, so that was cool. And then I've been going on a, a bit of a um, Nintendo binge with some of the buying. Uh, I picked up this lot here. It was a job lot. It was a snipe off eBay. I don't often snipe stuff off eBay, but this one seemed good. There was this and um, a Pokemon game and some original Game Boy games. Um, and basically it worked out that I paid just under a fiver each for these. And it's a stack of DS's. We've got um, three DS lights and a DSi. Um, and they came with like... Uh, one that didn't have a charger. Sorry, it's two DSIs and two DS DS lights. Um, that had a charger. That didn't have a charger. And then these had like the third-party ones off eBay, the sort of not official ones. Um, but yeah, they're in good condition. The hinges hinges are all right. Um, so and they, you know, they all work and everything. So yeah, like five reach. I mean, DS's have gone down in value a lot, but you know this one's all right. The screen's not too bad. And again, yeah. So that was nice. Game Boy games were nothing to write home about, but I've already traded those for something else. Uh, and then this one's got a bit of scuffing to the bottom there, uh, but I believe it still works. Yeah. So that's cool. And uh, missing the stylus, which is annoying. Um, the what? These have got like ones that don't quite fit in properly. So I need to get some styluses. And then this uh, this one has got like a white stylus, which is annoying. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. <clears throat> I haven't even looked in the trading value yet, or whether I'm going to sell them on eBay. So uh, yeah. Pretty cool. Couldn't pass that up, really. Uh, quite a good deal. So the next things I picked up uh, was some charity shop purchases, which was these two guys. Uh, they were one ninety nine each. Um, I I've peeled yeah I've peeled the stickers off. Um, this one it's not the better one. You can get the second version, uh, Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth 2. That one still sells really well. Uh, two quid. I'm not, I'm not completely up on what the game rate on these are, but I know it's pretty good. So, and the disc is, uh, is yeah, there's a few little scuffs, but it'll still work. Now this one, I'm not so sure on. It's a Microsoft Fl Flight Sim uh, Gold Edition, and um, it's the deluxe edition and the acceleration edition so you've got the acceleration edition there um, and then the other one there but there's, there's three discs yeah that seems legit and that seems right so again these flight sim x ones are good I've sold just the deluxe edition on its own before for I think about 25 quid Um I can't remember what this scanned at but I think it was around that 25 30 pound mark something like that so for one ninety nine, that was a great deal. Uh, oh, this was this was twenty p. Need for Speed Most Wanted. Um, 
510 not mega money but it's sort of bread and butter stuff if I can get this bloody sticker off the front but 20p um, <clears throat> I picked this up this was a nice little find um, this was a eBay purchase uh, the person had got this listed and it was described as pink Nintendo stick so yeah and it's the pink um, Nintendo Wii and it's the the Wii Motion Plus uh, and it's even got the official Nintendo back as well which is cool um, so yeah with postage I paid eight pounds so uh, it's not too bad. The trade-in value is, is you know, definitely better than that. So that's pretty cool. Really clean condition. No battery issues or anything like that. <clears throat> Got some more Wii stuff later. Um, I picked these up um, from a woman who it was at the car boot sale, and she will be appearing on a future episode of Dickhead of the Week. She was a special guest in that, and um, because there was a, a guy came over at the same time who who was the dickhead of the week. Um, but she had some great stuff. She had like Star Wars, uh, original 1970s, early 80s Star Wars figures. Um, she had um, a uh, Commodore 64. Um, with a load of games and the ZX Spectrum with a load of games but she wanted like 85 quid for them she had a Sega Game Gear she wanted 80 quid for that uh, the figures the uh, Star Wars figures she wanted five six pounds each they didn't have the weapons the ones that did have weapons she wanted a tenner each or something like that so it was all like nice gear but the prices were just stupid. Anyway, she got this uh, another DS. I mean, this is you know, you know what a DS DS looks like there. Um, again, it doesn't need you know that, and it the it works. It's charged up. Yeah, all good. Uh, the stylus is weird. It doesn't doesn't like doesn't fit in. Uh, so that's odd. Um, so I picked that up. And then these games, um, oh come on, it's Transformers, Transformers, that was in the back, then uh, GoldenEye Rogue Agent, and then some better ones, we've got New Super Mario Brothers, and this is a cool game, uh, Mario vs Donkey Kong. Uh, Mini Land Mayhem. This is cool. It's kind of like, you know, build, interact with environments thing, sort of Super Mario Maker mini kind of thing. It's cool. Um, and all that was 15 quid with the charger. So, yeah, that's pretty decent. Uh, loose carts, I know, but yeah, probably play on them a bit and then move them on. Okay. About halfway through, guys. So, uh, yeah. Um, then uh, this next one. This uh, there's a guy on the Facebook groups. His name's Bob. Uh, Bobby Billington. <clears throat> Went out on a sourcing trip with him. Went around a load load of uh, charity shops and stuff like that. And uh, we uh, we'd been around the charity shops and we were walking back to the car and we stumbled across across like this vintage gaming shop. And I picked up a few bits in there. I picked up um, on PlayStation 2 for 10 quid Jurassic Park Operation Genesis on the PlayStation 2. So I paid 10 quid for it, which was sort of high end really, but there's a small amount of money in that. Um, no manual, and I haven't got it here because it's actually with my disc repair machine because it just needs a, a quick skim in there. Um, so that was a tenner, and then for I think it was 15 quid. Um, I picked up this, which is a Game Boy Pocket, yellow one, lovely condition. I had to um, get a new back for it because um, the the back that was on there, the little clip, broke. Um, but they're you know a couple of quid off eBay. 
Um, so yeah, uh, I'll be keeping that one I think. I've been after one like this for bloody ages, so uh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, this next little lot was from, he's like, um, he's sort of Polish and he he, um, he does a lot with sort of graphics cards and computer parts and that sort of stuff. And his prices are, they're up there, which kind of annoys me because Zaheer did a video about it recently about um, people asking eBay prices and I've done one as well. You know, you can't ask eBay prices at a car boot sale because, you know, you okay you buy a graphics card or something put it in your computer it doesn't work I mean it's a guy in a field you know you pay eBay prices because you you're paying for almost the insurance the protection of being able to send it back that sort of stuff so that's what you know that's why eBay prices are what they are because you're paying that extra to know that the stuff works now if you're in a field at a car boot sale you know it should be you know, way less because you're taking that risk, especially with stuff like that. Okay, if you're buying something different where, you know, there isn't a chance it's going to be wrong or faulty or that sort of thing, then fair enough, it can be up there a bit. But certain things really. Anyway, I I bought these and I could see they were working. Um, so yeah, it was a bundle. He didn't want to split it. Um, which you know, fair enough. Uh, I paid up for it. Uh, he originally wanted 25 for this, but I ended up paying him 20. Um, and what it is is it's a um, a Game Boy Advance SP. It is unfortunately the 00111, which is it's not the backlit one. Basically, it works all good, plays fine. The outside is pretty scuffed. Um, came with an unofficial charger which is unfortunate it came with some games it came with uh, a knockoff version of um, Simpsons Road Rage I don't know why they'd knock this off because um, it's not an expensive game at all uh, Disney's Treasure Planet um, Thunderbirds and um, UGO worldwide edition so you know I probably you know I paid a, quite a lot for these but um, you know it was mainly to get this one which is the Game Boy Color and it's the purpley blue one um, needs cleaning up a bit the sort of paint on it and stuff but it's got its original back which is a a, a rarity uh, it's got the batteries in there which I need to take out before they go crusty um, but yeah all works fine, screen's in nice condition, so for 20 quid uh, I thought it was a pretty good price so you know I'm sort of getting quite a few of these different colours of Game Boys and stuff so I've got a uh, Aquamarine one somewhere as well so that's pretty cool um, I'll probably move on the SP <coughs> then from a house clearance guy I picked up, I can't believe this, another Mega Drive. Uh, this one works fine. It came with um, two AV cables. I don't know why I had two. And then it had like a um, a controller, but the, the, the cable was frayed near where it actually goes into the thing. So it did work, but I need to sort of take that up and make it look more presentable, maybe to either keep myself or move on on eBay. Uh, but yeah, this works fine. It's the... Um, the original uh, Mega Drive in you know reasonably clean condition, so that was cool. Um, so yeah, uh, what did I pay for these? I paid two, five, ten. I pay sixteen pounds for all what I'll show you now. So for that, and then there was two Wii's. He was fairly certain that these work. I uh, bought stuff off him before, and they work fine. Um, they've got the the ones that can take the the, the GameCube controllers. Uh, so I sell these on eBay as replacements for people whose ones have had the disc read error. Don't get a huge amount for them because unfortunately the market's flooded now. Um, but I think I get about fifteen pounds, something like that each, um, and they'll be standard second class postage. And the last thing I got from him uh, was this uh, PS2 Slim in lovely clean condition. 
uh, it's well clean for a house clearance guy anyway um it came I you can see that it came with a controller but one of the thumbsticks on top the rubber had gone so that needs replacing um and it came with um an a uh, like an av cable um which is a bit grotty so i'll probably give it a fresh av cable i've got a power thing for it and i've got a, a control pad knocking about and that's a nice little system set up there so just some loose systems um there and then uh, I was in the charity shop the other day, chatting away. Um, and as I was chatting to the manager, this guy came in and he goes, "Oh, do you take uh, them PlayStation things or that sort of stuff?" And she was like, "Oh yeah," and that my ears were like, "Ooh!" And um, he brings them in, and it's a box and this, and and then there's these these two things in there, and. Um, <clears throat> And then he went and I said, oh, do you mind if I have a look through before, you know, you price it up and whatnot? So I had a look through and all the games are like Disney ones, like, you know, Nemo and stuff like that. It was, there was nothing mega in there. There was a few controllers, but they sort of had issues and stuff. And then there was two fat PS2s in there. Now, I've stayed away from for, from the fat ones, mainly because the... They tend to have disc read errors and stuff like that. Even if they pat test them, they don't test them like that. So she's going to pat test them. She's going to send them off to get pat tested and uh, um, let me know. Um, and I'll um, I'll uh, go in and have a look at them. Uh, but these I fairly felt confident about. And uh, I said, oh, how much you want for these? And she goes, oh, shoot, there's a price. And I wanted to be fair with her um, because then I thought, you know, I'll be able to go back in there and maybe do future business like you know she'll save stuff for me so i said oh i look at them and i said oh, how about a tenner so she went yeah that's fine um this one you see that nintendo another nintendo ds um i haven't got it's um i'll show you it's in here now i haven't seen one of these in ages it's the original ds um there unfortunately this has got a rather large scratch right there which is annoying but hey ho um so yeah i'm not up on what these original ones go for but um yeah nice case as well it came with um and then there was a couple it, it didn't have the official charge it only had a like a competition pro one for the car uh and there were some games but they were i don't know where i put them are they in there? No. Are these then? Um, no, they're the thing manuals. Um, they were just like um, brain training and stuff like that, actually. Uh, so no, nothing great. Uh, but the alright games came with this one, which is a Game Boy Advance. Uh, the silver one, um, AGB001, and the uh, nice thing is it's got the original back as well. Works fine, works great, tested it fully. Um, it comes with a rechargeable battery thing, but I, I, I wasn't fussed about that. In fact, I've, I left the charger for that, damn it. Um, so yeah, and the games, I don't know where I put the games, but there were some half-decent games in there. Uh, nothing amazing, but just some more right ones. So yeah, pretty cool. I've not got a silver one. I've got a purple one, and I can't remember what the other one I've got is. But yep, yeah, so that'll be for myself, and then I'll probably move on this thing. <clears throat> this was nice. I was at the... there's some others, but I don't know where I put them. I was at the car boot sale with a couple of the. Um... With a, a local, I uh, bumped into a local guy Ian who um, buys and sells, and and he picked up some stuff from this guy, and it was a guy who who sold like perfume and stuff, English guy, but apparently half the year he lives in Japan because his wife's Japanese, or so he was telling me all of this anyway, and um, I picked up this and a load of there was um, Pokemon Japanese Pokemon pinball. Uh, there's another one as well. I can't remember what it was. It was um, uh, Dragon Quest for the Famicom. 
and some others. I'll find them and put them in another video anyway, but these these are just the cool ones. Um, and I paid £11 for this lot. So um, we've got Dragon Quest, what's that, 8 for the PlayStation 2. It's all there. The only downside is it has got a few, sc eh, probably play actually, yeah. So that's the only really downside, but yeah, cool. So again, I haven't looked at the value on this, but it, it was like a feeding frenzy. People were just diving in there, grabbing stuff. He got like figurines and all sorts of stuff. So I just got what I could. And then this is nice. Uh, this is um, Wizardry. See in there, lovely box, great box art. I'm sure the game is uh, pretty bad compared to modern day stuff, obviously. But uh, and it's all there, which is cool. Even the little plastic insert and whatnot. So uh, the label's lovely, it's really nice, beautiful condition. So yeah, very cool. All the little pamphlets and booklets and whatnot, um, and then um, I can't actually remember the. I think this is 1945. I'm not too sure, but yeah, this is for the Super Famicom. Great cover art there, fantastic. Um, obviously, you know, there's this sticker damage here, but and that's all there as well. All the bits insert somewhere around the corners but you know what can you expect and then there's this one romancing saga so yeah don't often see stuff like this at the car boot i mean there's other stuff i missed out on but i don't dwell on it so yeah just uh, very cool he says he's going to bring some more um so i'll keep it my eyes peeled for him so yeah very cool few duds obviously there was that mega drive earlier which was a dud and um, this was a dud i picked up this uh lovely clean condition playstation it came with the cables and it came with the controller the controller works fine which is great um i paid a couple of quid for it um but i should have looked inside because there's a bit of paper inside which says and this is case in point of you know look every I did open it but I didn't notice this and it says ripped up um, works okay except will not detect controller and lo and behold when I plug it in and try it it loads up but it doesn't con con it doesn't recognize the controller in there so in either port so there's obviously some some kind of internal issue going on with it so the control you know i paid like three quid for a controller and some cables which isn't the worst but it's just annoying because it's another playstation one to add to the pile of playstation ones i've got which don't work so there you go um and on the subject of playstation one i picked up well i'll get onto the at the end there's a massive playstation one pickup uh which i'll wait till the end because it's ridiculous but these are ones from charity shops out and about that sort of stuff um this was from um, a charity shop that I've kind of got a bit... I know the manager, um, she used to work at another charity shop that I went to, and she holds computer game stuff back for me, which is really nice of her, but unfortunately, I think she might be leaving. Anyway, I got all these, and I paid... Uh, five, twelve £12 for, for this lot, so great. We've got... Tomb Raider, The Last Revelation, um, you know, it's all there, beautiful condition, apps, just beyond immaculate, you can see, well, just amazing condition, so that's cool, uh, then Command and Conquer, these were two separate trips, um, basically, um, and that's all there, nice condition. Uh, this is an odd one. I, I, I don't I don't know. I've I've got a uh, reloaded for PlayStation on this, so I, I'm assuming these are just third party cases. But there are these 
PlayStation capes, but they're actually better because the the other type crack so easy. But these are more like a uh, a um, Mega Drive case. Uh, but you can see the, the artwork's too big for it. Anyway, it's Croc. It's the Platinum Edition. Um, it's uh, a game that does fetch pretty good money. Uh, well, not mega money, but, you know, all right money. It's one to look out for. Uh, but the, the disc, yeah, probably could do with the polish. But um, I'll probably recase that. Um, you know, uh, I've already got it, so I'll probably move that on. And this is one I remember seeing the gameplay footage on Cinemassacre about this. Uh, which is Evil Dead, Hail to the King. I think it's a pretty awful game. Uh, the manual for it is just shocking. I mean, they don't make manuals like this anymore. I mean, look at the size of that. It's like massive, beautiful artwork in it. And it's a, it is a two-disc two disc game. Again, beautiful condition. Um, no real issues, except I managed to drop it and damage the corner which I'm pissed off about but anyway what you gotta do now this was a really odd one um this is just take the price sticker off um this is Cold War and you can see there it's got the American release on there but the reason why I got this is because it's still sealed now the Xbox seal there looks a bit funny but eh, I think I think it's legit so uh, yeah, again I don't see sealed stuff too often, it's, again, it's not a, a valuable game by any stretch of the imagination, but um, yeah, just cool to see something like that, I mean that was in the shop for a quid, 99p, so uh, I had to get it really, and then I've left the two gems till last out of this bundle, um, this is Crash Bash, apparently they've had this kicking around in the shop back room for a while, and someone had priced it up for eBay, um, and she she just wanted to sell it because it was doing them no good. Sat in the back room with an eBay price. They had it out at Christmas for I think fourteen ninety nine or something like that, and it didn't sell. Um, so yeah, pick this up. Uh, lovely condition. The manuals in there, and the disc is um, you know it's decent. So this uh, I've got this already, but mine's the platinum version, so I'll be moving the platinum version on and keeping this one. I've never actually played Crash Bash, so um, I should be giving it a bash. Um, I've played all the other Crash games, just not this one. And then the last one, I was stunned that this was there. I could not believe this was there. I just you just don't see stuff like this anymore. And it's a GameCube game, and it's Mario Party Five. And it's in beautiful condition. I mean, like, amazing condition. The disc is just... I mean, it. there's not a single scratch on it. So, yeah. Um, again, not one that I've played. So, I'll uh, I'll be giving that a whirl. Um, and then probably end up keeping that. Um, I know it's got a good resale value, but there you go. So, for that price, that was a nice little, nice little pick-up. And okay, we're, we're getting close to there. We've got a couple little more car boot sale and charity shop pickups, and then a big, um, two big char uh, two big car boot pickups at the end. I got this for 99p just because, um, you know, it's not a great game, but I thought it was a bit unusual. And it's, um, it's the exclusive pre order edition of, of uh, was it 13? Is that X? I don't know, but I have played the game and it's not great to be honest. But it's just nice, it's got the original case, a bit of damage to it. Um, but you can see there it's the uh, the blue disc, the official. I mean, I see these ones on eBay and stuff and they do sell, but I, I don't often see them with, with this part. Uh, so for 99p, I thought, oh, I'll get that. Okay, and then lastly, I picked, uh, picked up uh, Assassin's Creed Rogue. It was four ninety nine in the charity shop, and it is new and sealed. So I'll be sending that into Amazon, I think, to sell. Cause, but strangely enough, the new price and the used price are very close. I think it's like fourteen quid for new, something like sixteen quid for 
new and 14 quid for used it's it's really strange actually um so yeah i'll send that in and i'll probably price it a bit higher and then sit and wait okay um so uh, picked up a um ds charger for a quid there's that and then i picked up this lot um at the car boot sale a couple of days ago with the bank holiday and um i got all this the guy wanted 25 and i got it for 22 um and what it is is a blue wii um there and it was like an electronics guy um and uh, I was a bit like, uh, what if it doesn't work? It works great. There's no issues. It's just a standard Wii. There's nothing special about it, but it's blue. And then with it came just a random Rayman Raving Rabbit. Uh, fun game, but not great resale on it. But it is fun sort of party game, that sort of thing. And then it came with three nunchucks. Um here they are unofficial ones they're the third party sort of knockoff ones uh they work great um but they aren't the official nintendo ones so i can't trade them in or anything so i'm not entirely sure what i'm going to do with these and then in the same vein i got um two third party wii remotes a red and a blue and um, they're, they're sort of the knockoff ones they work great again but they aren't official Wii ones, which places like CEX won't take. And this one, the the battery compartment. So anyone has a great idea about how to sell these, whether it's eBay or that. I might just keep them to use myself. But the deal out of it really was there was two official ones. Uh, and they are the, uh, the Wii Motion Plus ones. Uh, these have great trading value and resale value is good on them as well. So they're definitely ones to look out for. Um, this one's got an unofficial back. This one's got an official back. So yeah, the, I mean there's some decent money in them. So yeah. So for 22 quid, I was going to take that that gamble. I mean it was a bit too much for sort of ordinary sort of non-reseller types, I think. But for me, I was willing to take that risk. Now, these next two lots are really like, whoa, kind of stuff. I mean, uh, there's a couple of other things. Basically, this was a couple of weeks ago. It's the, one of the first car boots I've been to this year. And, God, this video is getting long. Um, and I'd gone round. I'd bought a load of stuff. And, and I, it was getting towards the end. And I just thought, oh, I'll just nip round again. I dropped everything off the car. I'll just nip round again just in case. And there's a Harris clearance guy. And this is a case in point. I'll do another video about this always have your listening ears open because as i was walking by i heard this guy going john john what's this bag here and he came out with this bag he went oh yeah there's those computer games yeah he took them out so he, he put them out and i was like whoa what's these so whoosh, straight to them I went through and there was some good stuff in there and the stuff i went, uh, basically i said oh i'm these, mate he goes oh pound each and i ended up getting 11 games for a tenner and there was some good there was simpsons hit and run in there uh, but most of them were really scratched up, so they're going to be repolished. There was Kingdom Hearts, uh, not the Platinum Edition, the normal edition. Um, and just some other bread and butter ones. There was um, Call of Duty World at War for the PlayStation 2 in there. Uh, and then there was these ones, and I'll show you these because these are sort of the cream of the crop. We've got, um, I mean, one of these, I can't believe the price. We've got Blade, what's it called? Blaze Blue Continuum Shift 2 for the PlayStation uh, for the PSP PlayStation Portable. Um, no Manuel, unfortunately, but this is in nice condition and it should should play fine. Now I can't remember the prices on these ones, but it looks like a kind of a Street Fighter esque beat 'em up type game. So yeah, and then we've got two PlayStation Essential games. We've got Mon. Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. I've actually had this game before, but sold it stupidly. PSP, but this is a PSP Essentials one. Uh, a bit grubby, um, but yeah. 
pretty cool. And then we've got um, Dragon, Ball, Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai, Budokai, I think it is. I've had this on the GameCube before. So, very cool. And then the cream of the crop really was this one, which is uh, Persona 3. Um, F E S. And I've heard of Persona 3 before, it's the high school thing. But, you know, just sort of t people talking about it on YouTube. But I I'd never actually seen it in the wild or anything like that. So for a pound, this sells regularly for 45 to 50 quid. So it's definitely worth looking out for. Uh, I'm going to keep this. I'm probably going to have a go because I do like my RPGs. I just don't have time to play them these days. I really don't. Unfortunately, no Manuel. Uh, the disc is all right, you know. It's not bad. There's a few little smudges. There's me, um, but you know nothing, nothing major. So yeah, great little find. Uh, it just shows you in the wild. There's always, there's always stuff like that. So yeah, on to the last lot. So now this last lot to end with. Yeah, yeah, basically I was buying some uh, new and sealed box sets from this guy, and. Um, okay. And uh, they were friends, just straight for Amazon, you know, nothing, you know, nothing that was going to blow your socks off. And another guy came up and went, oh, have you got any old CDs, mate? And the guy went, oh, yeah, I've got a box full here. So he gets it out, boof, like that. And I just saw, like, the classic, that on the side. So I was like, oh, flipping heck. So I, um, I went to go in there, but this other guy knew what he was doing. He was digging through. And he, he got like hands full of them. He's like, oh, how much are they, mate? He was like, a pound each. And I was like, Phew. and I saw in his hand he'd got Final Fantasy VII for the PlayStation 1. And I thought, oh, great. He's going to pull out all the uh, old great gems. So he, And he got Rayman. So he bought Rayman Black Label, Final Fantasy VII. Then he bought like four racing games. It was really odd. And um, Alien Resurrection, which was very bizarre. Then another guy was in there and bought like another five like random racing games and there was like Die Hard or something like that. But as the guy was paying, he goes, oh, he goes to either me or the other guy. He goes, you can have the old lot for a tenner if you want. And I was like, like that. So I pulled out a load of games and said, oh, I'm for these ten quid. I paid him the tenner and then I walked away and thought, wait a minute, I could have had all of them that. So I went back and went, how much, you know, what would you do the rest of them for? And he's like, oh, just give us a couple of quid more and you can have the rest. Now, if I'd have been savvy, I could have had them all for 10 quid. But for some reason, my brain, I was having like brain freeze or something. I just wanted to get the good ones and walk away. Anyway, I ended up buying this whole big old recycling bin full of, it was mostly CDs with some PlayStation games in there. Now, the CDs, there's a load of copied knockoff CDs, so they're going to go in the bin. Uh, there was loads of CD singles, which I'll take down the car boot. If they don't sell, I'll just donate them, because there's just no money in those sort of CD singles, unless they're like, you know, like some kind of bizarre one that, you know, is worth a few quid. And I, I scanned them all, and there was nothing that was made major. There was a load of, like, Take That CDs and Madonna albums and stuff like that. And I'm just going to scan those in uh, Music Magpie, 25p each, and there is uh, five pound, no, six pounds worth going to Music Magpie. So that's almost all my money there back. And then there was this lot. So this what was in there that was uh, PlayStation. There was a couple of other ones. There was another driver and another game, but they're over to be polished. But the rest of them, although some of the cases have issues, the discs inside are beautiful. So let's go through. I'll whiz through them as quick as I can. We've got some um, demo ones. We've got demo with Medieval 2 in. We've got another demo there. We've got the Metal Gear Solid demo there. And there's some more in a bit. Then we've got Touring Car Championships. They're pretty much all black label. We've got Formula 1 98. Is it 98? Yeah, 98. Then I'll do the crap ones first. Uh, we've got uh, Toka 2, We've got Formula 1 1999, Colin McRae Rally, I remember playing this as a kid, a lot of them have got these blockbuster stickers on which is pretty cool, and then we've got NASCAR 99, 
we've got driver with some condition issues we've got test drive ball we've got tocker touring car championship one another copy of test drive four two um, we've got v rally championship two and uh, we've got demo one disc uh, cool borders in one of these sort of early weird cases. Uh, London Racer. So that's all of them. And then then there's all of these as well. Yeah, more. We've got Theme Park World. This has got an enormous manual. I mean, this manual is flipping shocking. Look at the size of that bruiser huge so but it's good in a way because it, it really protects the case because the case won't crack that was a problem with these cases and we've got destruction derby 2 platinum motor racer 2 so you can see what kind of games the guy was interested in colin mccray rally again tony hawk skateboarding gran turismo Motor Racer, Test Drive 5, this is a cool game, South Park, again with the Blockbuster sticker, so I'll be keeping this one. And uh, then some more demos, we've got the official Special Edition Exclusive Playable Demo of Metal Gear Solid, um, Final Fantasy 7 Demo, Speed Freaks Demo, um, Michael Owen's World League Soccer Demo, woohoo! And then we've got dem Demo 1 again, another one with the case. NASCAR 2000. Colin McRae Rally 2.0. And the best game that I always see in sodding charity shops. Who wants to be a millionaire? I see that game so often in charity shops. So that was the meh ones. And then we've got some absolute gems. Well, I think of gems anyway. And some that have got good resale value. I, was, I thought this would have been a dross game, but it does seem like it's got fairly decent value. Shanghai True Valor. Uh, it looks a bit like sort of Devil Dice, that sort of thing. Um, lovely condition. A game I used to love. Uh, I'm, I've only played the second one, I haven't played the first one, which is Siphon Filter 2. Kind of an underrated game. I think it's a great game. It's not got much resale value, but I, I enjoyed playing it. And then this one, Tenshu Stealth Assassins. And then we've got another copy of Croc. Again, the Blockbuster one. Uh, this is the Value series. And then we're on to the last four, which are good. We've got Tomb Raider. We've got the double boxed, double one edition there. I don't know why they did that, because there's nothing in that far it doesn't make any sense to me but uh we've got the original grand theft auto i used to love this game trying to get the tank or oh, there's that little jump bit fantastic game that was and then these last two games are great i used to love this game it's uh, odd world abe's odyssey platinum edition fantastic game that was and then i've been after this game for so long in the wild i wasn't going to pay retail i've got I've still got my original Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 2. I've still not completed Resident Evil 1 on the PlayStation 1. It is brutally hard. I cannot do it. I've completed this before, but for whatever reason, my copy vanished into obscurity. And that is Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Uh, it's not a huge value, maybe like 12 to 15 quid. Um, but for a pound, you know, I've been looking for this for ages. Uh, there so yeah all that for 10 well 12 quid um yeah crazy and i got you know six pounds back from music magpie so yeah fantastic so really when i should have just given the guy a tenner and then just gone away but i did miss out on a few but you know that's the look of the draw so there we go. Epically long video. Thanks for sticking with me. There was loads of other stuff I didn't even talk about, but I'll do that in another video. I've just been going mental with computer game stuff. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment and subscribe.
and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.